You want to know why they're making the Cybertruck bulletproof? Because they're planning to use it as an armored urban APV carrier for Robocops and Terminators and the like. Check out this new look for the Cybertruck. It pretty much explains it all, to say the least. And, of course, all of these new robots that are rolling off the assembly line like cars and trucks are going to be used as Robocops. And it's just a matter of time before they strap a gun to it. And in fact, first chance they get, they're going to strap a gun to it just like these robot dogs. At first they're like, no, no, we would never weaponize this technology. We would never dare put a gun on one of these cute little robot puppies. And then like two days later, here it is everywhere. And so they're going to say the same thing about these robots coming off the assembly lines. They're mass producing them right now all over the world. It's just a matter of days, really, before we're flooded with these things. And first chance they get, they're going to put armor on these things. And they're going to put guns and cannons and energy weapons on these things. And it's going to look a lot like Elysium as the ruling elites break away and become their own civilization as we become peasants in our very own countries. And this is why they're opening up the borders. They're preparing for the Elysium scenario. And of course, these Cybertrucks, which are being sold, are fueling the expansion of this Skynet system, just like everything else Tesla. But this system is already in bed with the defense industry through SpaceX and other things. And soon these things will just be airdropping out of nowhere on some kind of SpaceX technology. Nobody's really sure if they're really going to outer space, but these SpaceX rocket ships can go anywhere on the planet, fly around like a plane, and be there in minutes, dropping off cyber trucks, robots, terminators, and cyborgs. It's no joke, it's coming. This is the big plan. And of course, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Now you have to think about not only where this technology is today, but where it's going to be in a year from now. Fire the video guy. The video guy's on vacation. Check out the AI solving the Rubik's Cube in a fraction of a second. You see that? That's exactly how quick these robots will move in the future. That's exactly how quick they'll think. And so basically it's game over if we allow Tesla and company to do what they're planning to do, which is basically to automate the world, to push humans out of the loop, and to assimilate mankind with the brain chip. You've all heard of the brain chip. Well, it's going to be inserted in people's brains with a machine very similar to this. This is a makeup machine, but the Elon brain chip machine is pretty much exactly the same thing. It's going to drill a hole. It's going to place the chip. And then all of a sudden, they're going to be part of the hive. They're going to be setting these things up in the shopping mall. And kids will be getting brain chips instead of tattoos and ear piercings in minutes and it won't be long before it turns into some kind of science fiction movie where the cyborgs and the transhumans transhumanists outnumber us this is a very real threat and just about every futurist is talking about it but there's more to this agenda than you might think they've already unleashed the Skynet they've already unleashed the super AI it's already in the grid, plugged into the Defense Department, plugged into all of these robots that are coming off the assembly lines. They've already mapped out their agenda. 
believe it or not. They've got a roadmap. And it's all about replacing humanity with cyborgs. It's the fourth industrial revolution. It's the next big thing. They're all in. This is their fountain of youth. They want to live forever. And nobody's going to stand in their way. No human. Anyways. And there's a lot of speculation about whether or not this nanotech assimilation revolution has already begun. You've noticed the NPCs for yourselves. According to reports, the situation is much worse than it appears on the television. The hyperinflation and the like is just meant to price you out, to starve you, to eliminate you without the need for force. And this just shows you how this system is operating. They're already at war. And they're already trying to slow kill people in every way imaginable. Plandemics, the death facts. They're poisoning the food, the air, the water, the GMOs, the fluoride, you name it. Everything they can get away with, they're basically doing. They're doing it. But there's also another thing that's happening with these death towers. These death towers are already plugged into the grid. And they're already making people sick on purpose and taking people out that would be part of the future resistance. We've been talking a lot about this. You might think this is some kind of fantasy language, but it's in the congressional hearings. People are being attacked. They don't know where it's coming from officially. Unofficially, everybody knows it's these cell towers and the Skynet. At first, they rolled out the 5G and then everybody started getting sick. And then it just started cascading from there with the death facts and so on and so forth. But these death towers are still there and they're still targeting people actively. And if you're on the red list, meaning if you've ever been flagged on social media and the like, this thing is coming after you eventually. We're getting tons of reports of people being hit by these cell towers. And once you get hit by a cell tower, your, your perspective on life changes dramatically. And this is why we continue to raise awareness on the issue, just like many other people that are being silenced and censored when they talk about the 5G, because all of the future technology is dependent on the 5G infrastructure to communicate to the robots and to the driverless cars and the like, on top of the blimps or satellites and planes and what have you. But they definitely need the 5G on the ground. And this is why they're silencing and censoring everyone that's talking about the 5G. Just not, a, not just about the regular radiation, but about the targeting as well. Everything is being censored and sanitized so that people are unaware of what's happening. That's why we strongly recommend that you check out this book, Transhuman Genocide. It's on Amazon. It's got everything that you need to know about directed energy weapons, artificial intelligence, and the shielding and strategies that you'll need to survive that are being used right now by people that are being hit. It has the top research, the best research from the top minds in electromagnetism. You just got to check it out for yourself. You can read the free sample. We could be here all day talking about what's in this book. It's thick like a phone book, basically. There's a Kindle version. There's the print version. There's also a slim version that's in two parts. If you really want to carry it around. But it's a top shelf book. And it explains everything that's coming. And it talks about the shielding materials that you'll need to put together to make military grade shielding against the weapons of the future that are here now, today. They've already massively deployed energy weapons while we were quietly doom-scrolling from crisis to crisis. They were basically rolling out energy weapons everywhere in the smart grid. The cell towers, the smart meters, the cell phones, the new cars... It's basically unimaginable for most people. The, the situation is beyond 
a crisis, to say the least. They're way ahead of us in terms of understanding what's going on. They're depending on our ignorance to basically finish us off and mop us up with these cell towers and the like. And this is definitely happening. And it's why we continue to talk about it. I know people would rather talk about the election, sports, what have you. But there'll be no future for anybody if this system goes unchecked. It's just going to get worse and worse. And it's already looking super bad with all these clones and people wearing masks and all the CGI, robot Biden and the like. You can't imagine what happens next. That's why everybody basically needs to push back against this technology. It looks really cool right now, but it's all being used to fund the transhuman agenda that will basically wipe us off the map. And so there really is no more pressing issue than this agenda because every day that goes by, they're, they're rolling out more robots, more cyber trucks, more spaceships, or what have you. And this bucket of transhuman technology is going to overflow and spill over on everybody. And it's going to be a nightmare before you know it. It's already bad now, but it's only going to get much, much worse. That's why everybody out there should be raising awareness, not only on the 5G, but the transhuman agenda. And you definitely need to protect yourself from these weapons. Because if you've been experiencing the 5G symptoms since the rollout of 5G, chronic fatigue, heart palpitations, recurring headaches, pain not associated with an injury, you're being targeted right now. They take people out, making it look like climate change or natural causes. It's a silent war with silent weapons, and this thing doesn't miss. It follows you wherever you go, like cell phone coverage, mimicking a disease. And it can cause cancer in days. It can kill in seconds. And it can torture for a very long time as well. We're getting all sorts of reports of, being, of people being tortured by this system. Why would they program it to torture people? This is beyond a fact. And so you know whatever's coming is going to be beyond bad news. Mark of the beast kind of stuff. And during those end days, we're called to, to wear armor. To stand against the enemy. To stand against these fiery darts or these fiery arrows. That's exactly what these energy weapons are like. And this is the recipe to make the best armor in town. To make the best armor in the world in terms of EMF weapons. The research in this book is golden. So you're going to want to check it out on Amazon or on Patreon. Again, there's a Kindle version, paperback version. There's a PDF version on the Patreon. We've made it dirt cheap so that people can get this research and get into action. If you're not prepared to defend yourselves against energy weapons, you're really not going to make it. Because they're already out there. And they're already using it on people. And it's just going to become more and more mainstream. You can't imagine robots moving at high speeds with energy weapons all around you. And you're just running around naked. And you can't imagine that. You can't imagine everything that happens in between. And this process of elimination, extermination has already begun. There's Zuckerbot when he was a human, now a robot. It's a scary world and it's only going to get worse. Be sure to armor up out there. Till the next time. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.